frustrating all the injuries to your career. Do you feel like this is the year we see you have that big season? Yes, sir. I feel like uh, God has a plan for everybody, and those injuries and everything that I went through just made me a better man and be able to learn the game and be able to have much time as my coach. You know, it's a blessing. So I'm just ready to attack the season. Where have you been working? Have you been moving around in here? Yes, sir. Uh, I worked some Sam. Been working the Mike linebacker. Uh, he pretty much just wanted to rotate and learn all the positions that uh, all the linebacker positions. So if somebody happened to go down, you know, each position. So I've been working in all the linebacker positions. Just going back to, to Coach Johnson's first year here, and you had such a great spring, and it seemed like everything was really kind of opening up for you. And it seems like ever since then, you've been you've been hurt as much as you've been well. How how hard has that been to deal with? Uh, it was challenging at first, but. Um, it was just the cleats that I was wearing. I didn't have any arch support, and I'm real flat-footed. So, you know, able to get that fixed. I got custom cleats now, and I'm ready to, you know, just get better every day and learn everything I can from Coach Muschamp and, you know, attack the season this year coming up. When did you find that out, that that was a problem, and, and how did you go about that come kind of happen? Uh, with the cleats, I mean, they, I knew I was flat-footed, but I just found it out when uh, they had Under Armour specialists, foot specialists come here during the summer around June. And I came and looked at my feet, and they were, you know, I told them the reason. I didn't, I didn't have any arch support in none of my cleats, and that my base and the cleat wasn't wide enough. And that's the reason I kept suffering those foot injuries. So now I got custom cleats where the base is wide enough for my foot, so I shouldn't have that problem anymore. You had the orthotics last season, right? Mm hmm. I got the orthotics, but the orthotics wasn't fitting the cleats. It was, yeah. So it was caused a lot of pain in my feet for the past two years. Is that frustrating to know that that's probably what was causing this? Something so simple to fix? I mean, not now, it's just, you know, uh, better late than never. So I'm blessed to have another year. Yeah. You know, if I'd never got injured, then my two years would be up and I wouldn't have a chance to experience the great coaching staff that we have now and learn so much because of Muschamp. How, how have your feet felt so far? Feet felt great. Yes, and we, we talked to uh, Nick and he talked about gaining weight and doing those things. Did you ever think that you would be 230 and playing linebacker? Nah, not at all. From, I first got here, I came in like at 190 and to be 230 now. But that's just all things that Coach Russell and his strength and conditioning staff get in my body. Body right to play linebacker and be able to fluctuate between playing a star linebacker, playing middle linebacker, playing wheel linebacker. Just all due to the Auburn strength and conditioning program. How much better do you feel at this weight playing linebacker now? I feel great now. At first when I weighed, I weighed about, got up to about 225 or so. It wasn't comfortable. But now, just Coach Russell being able to train my body right and cut off some of the fat and gain muscle, my body feel great the way that I'm at now. You know, Coach Rushchamp's always said he likes hitters, and that's kind of been what everybody says is so great about you. You love to hit people. Do you feel like this is a good system for you, that, that, that it's going to be a good situation for you to thrive? Yes, sir. This is my first time actually being able to go through linebacker in the spring and knowing this is going to be my position coming into the fall, into the season. Uh, normally, it was just uh, my position would get switched throughout the week and not really knowing what position I was going to be playing each game. So now I feel comfortable. I know this is the stationary position I'm going to be at. And you know, just being able to go out there and work every day to get better. Coach so, Muschamp says that, he said yesterday that, that, that four, four guys working at linebacker and there wasn't a starter yet. Do you, do you feel like the competition is, is still close and go, ongoing? Oh, yes, sir. It's a battle every day. We um, do production every day at the practice. And the next man of production is higher than your production, and he's starting the next day of practice. So, Hold a lot of accountability, so you can go out there and have a great practice one day, and if you don't produce the next day, you won't be starting. So he puts a lot of accountability on you, just to go out there and do your best every day because the next man is working just as hard as you. So you never feel like there's any favoritism or anything like that. If you go out there and bust your butt and work hard, then you have a chance to start, no matter who you are. Have you started practice yet? So uh, I've went out there. I started at Mike linebacker. The past two practices, Casanova started today at practice. So you never know. Just wait till September fifth and see who's gonna be starting. <laughs> <laughs> just keep working. Is Mike? Is that your number one spot right now? Yes, sir. I'm mainly playing Mike okay. linebacker. Did you ever work at Sam, or was it just kind of a part time? Yeah, I worked at Sam during the spring, okay. and lately I've just been working at Mike linebacker. Do you think? Do you think that you, regardless of which one of you starts, you think there'll be a rotation there in like, the games? Yes, sir. The, uh, the best man. He's gonna put his best man out there on the football field. So just keep working hard day by day. Get better tomorrow, get better today, and when September 5th come around, you know, the best man on the football will be on the football field. So that's how I look at it, just trying to get better every day. You talked about 
most champion when you, when you say that you kind of smile all the time. What is it about him that that just stands out to you? Uh, hands on, energetic, uh, just a great coach. I mean, he, he's hard on you. But that's just because he expects more out of you. If, he, if he's being hard on you, he's, um, you know, being how he is. You gotta appreciate that because he really teaching you. Wants you to be better on and off the football field as a man. So he holds wants you to hold responsibility on and off the football field. You know, go about your business the right way in the classroom, in the dorms, on the football field, at meetings. He just wants you to carry yourself like a true Auburn man. So I respect that a lot. It goes much, champ. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.